Amen. God bless you. And welcome to One Shackle Ministries here in the city of Paramount. Amen. I pray the Lord has touched your heart to be with us this morning. I bl bless the Lord for everyone that's here this morning. And I just thank God for all that he's doing in every one of our lives. Amen. Amen. And I just want to share this morning. God has a wonderful word for each and every one of us. Amen. Because I hear the sound of dry bones rattling. Hallelujah. I hear the sound of the living God. Glory. Amen. I hear Glory. the voice of the Holy Spirit Glory. speaking to our hearts this morning. And I can believe this morning that God is bringing revival. God is bringing resurrection power. And Hallelujah. God is bringing Pentecostal fire. Amen. Hallelujah. That our hearts would just light up. Amen. Amen. And God would renew us, revive us, strengthen us, encourage us, build us up. And we thank him for that because God's plans, they work wonderfully. Amen. 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 So praise the Lord. Let's give him glory. Let's give him praise as we sing unto the Lord this morning. Amen. <laughs> praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pray to worship. Thank you, Lord. And we can come into your presence, Father God. Amen. Put thanksgiving in our hearts to worship you, to glorify you, Father God, to be in your presence, Father God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's put our hands together. Let us make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen.
and walk, Father God, and walk in your peace, Father God, your perfect peace, Father God. Oh, thank you, Lord, Father God, in Jesus' precious name. Amen? Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory. Hallelujah. Again, we welcome all to Unshackle Ministries here in the city of Paramount, where God is doing great things. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We got a wonderful month planned for December, but we're still in November. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But when we're looking ahead, when my heart is looking ahead, I'm just excited about what I see God doing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God is doing miracles. Glory. God is doing great things. God Glory. is bringing that spirit that raises the dead, that heals the sick, that gives hearing to the deaf and sight to the blind, that casts out devil, the spirit of revival, the Pentecostal Glory. fire. Hallelujah. Glory. The resurrection power of Almighty God. Glory. Praise God. Something to get excited about. Amen. Praise God. I'm just excited about what I just hear the, 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 the sound of those rattling bones. Amen. Glory. Praise God. I just hear it. Amen. Glory. So we got to speak life. Amen. Hallelujah. Although everything else around us may be speaking doom and gloom. We're speaking excitement. We're speaking the word of God. We're speaking the power of God's spirit rising up in his people. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Hallelujah. Well, I want to just remind everybody that um, here at Unshackled, God is doing great things. We got wonderful things happening. Praise God. And I believe. That if you keep your eyes on Jesus, you're going to see the power of God. Amen? Amen? You can't not but see the power of God when you're looking at Jesus Christ. Amen. Because Jesus Christ, the word of God, is the power of God. Amen. Amen? And when you keep your faith in him, your trust in him, and lean not to your own understanding, you're going to see what God can do. Amen? Amen? Just like in that picture over there where you see Moses standing there. Amen? Moments before that. That sea was closed. There was no way for the people of God to get through, to get across the Red Sea. But God made a way. Hallelujah. But God made a way. You may be in life today and you may be going through some difficult trials, some difficult situations. Amen. And it seems like it's hopeless. It seems like there's no way. Brothers and sisters, put your heart, your trust, your faith, and your eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ. And He will make a way. Glory. Praise God. Glory. When Jesus was here with us. Amen. Amen. Before the Lord took him up into the ascended to heaven. Amen. Jesus touched many lives. Amen. A little girl that was dead. He said, get up, little girl. And she rose up. A young man. A mother's only son was on his way to the cemetery and Jesus said rise up young man and he rose up amen when his friend that he cared about had been dead for four days Jesus called him out by name and he came out he was alive and Jesus said take the grave clothes off amen Amen. When God calls us forth, things change. Amen? Amen. Well, I'm glad you all could be with us here this morning. Um, a good shout out again to all of our family and friends. I believe we have, uh, we're on live again today. We had troubles last week, but on Facebook at least. Amen. And uh, I believe God is doing these great things and helping us to get it together. Amen. Uh, keep it in prayer, though, because the devil doesn't want to get, he doesn't, he wants to stop us from getting this word out. Amen? Amen. Encouraging faith being put out there for people to look and trust in God. Amen? Amen. 
How many know God is going to do great things here in the city of Paramount? Amen. He's already doing them, but I believe for bigger and greater things. I believe for souls that are saved, people that are healed, amen, and delivered, amen? amen. But it takes an army, amen? And today we'll see that. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to, I want to remind everybody that on Tuesday nights we have um, prayer, um, prayer on Zoom. And um, I believe that um, after the first of the year, we're going to be just... We'll be still recording for those that cannot make it, but we're going to come back on our regular midweek services here at the church. We'll have prayer here. We'll have our Wednesday night Bible study here. And again, like I said, we'll be recording for those that cannot uh, make it. Amen. Or still having trouble getting out and, and getting back to norm normal. Amen. We still keep the precautions. Amen. Um, that are mandated for us to do from the CDC. But we're not going to be hiding in caves anymore. Amen? Right. We're going to come out. Amen? Because our God is on the battlefield for us. Praise God. And no matter how bad things look or tough they look, we're going to be getting together, we're going to be worshiping God. Amen? Hallelujah. And then uh, when God sees us start driving back to church, Maybe the gas prices will go down. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. And then on Wednesday night, we have our weekly Bible studies all on Zoom for right now at 715. And um, if you want to be part of it, those of you on um, YouTube and Facebook, um, you just have to send us a message and we'll send you the link. And you can be part of our Bible studies. And don't be bashful. Don't be afraid. Um, you know, it's, it's getting together to hear the word of God, to pray to our God in heaven. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then uh, I got God has been putting some wonderful things in, in my heart. Um, as I said, I'm excited about this coming new year. What God wants to do. Amen. God is instructing me to put together an evangelism team. Amen. To get out here and uh, touch the city of Paramount. The cities surrounding Paramount, amen, with the word of God. Not just evangelizing them, but bringing them so that they can be discipled as well. Amen? amen. So they can grow. And that's where God's touching my heart. And uh, maybe some of you that are here won't be on the team because of other obligations. But God is going to put together and he's going to bring it. Just like during the time of Gideon when the shout went out. Amen. God put together all of a sudden an army of 30,000 men to battle against the Midianites. Amen? Amen. Then God had to cut it down because God says, you don't need that many to go out here and do this work. Amen? So from 30,000, it went to 300. And 300 got the job done. Praise God. Amen. So even if we only get 10, 5, God's going to do a great work with that. Amen? Praise God, because we know that God can do great works with small. Amen. With a few fish and a few pieces of bread, he fed 4,000 people. Amen. Amen. And another time with uh, another few fishes and bread, he fed 5,000 people. So God can make things expand and grow to meet the need. Amen. And I believe there's a great need for evangelism today in this world that we're living in. I believe there's a great need to bake Break through the gates of hell and go and win those souls that God had died on the cross for. That they could come to Jesus Christ and be saved. That their lives can be restored. That they can have a new life. Not the old life. Amen. But a new life that God wants each and every person to have. God has given us. The Bible says... For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. The Bible says that the gift of God, the gift of God is everlasting life. Amen. He says he who wins souls is wise. How many of you are wise here today? Hello. How many of you are wise today? Let me see some hands. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you're wise, then you should be winning souls. People around you should be being touched by the love of God, the power of God. Amen. Amen. Hello. Amen. Praise God. I'm excited about it. Hallelujah. Many, many more things. Amen. And then uh, we're going to be having a Christmas, uh, Christmas dinner party here. 
Amen. Uh, we probably won't have it on a Saturday, a Sunday. We'll probably end up having it on a, sun, a Saturday evening. Amen. So keep that in your hearts. I don't know what day yet, but we're going to have it before Christmas. Amen. Praise God. We're going to have some good food. We're going to have some good fellowship. And, um, and uh, so you can start inviting your friends and family. Amen. Praise God. I mean, if we can go into the restaurants, right? We have to wear our masks to get in, right? But when you sit down to eat, you can take them off. So we'll be a church restaurant for the Lord for a Christmas dinner party. Amen? Amen. Are you guys excited about this or what? Amen. Praise God. God's doing wonderful, wonderful things. Praise the Lord. Just give a nice shout out to um, Sister Rhonda and Sister Sally, um, um, uh, Brother Andy and Sister Laura, who continue to support our church and ministry. Amen. They can't be with us on Sundays, but we just keep them in prayer. Amen. That God touches them and continue to keep um, um, your families in our prayers as well. Amen? Amen. We have to pray for one another, church. Praise the Lord. Well, God has a wonderful word for us today, and I pray that you're ready to, to receive it. Amen. How many of you had a wonderful Thanksgiving? Amen. How many of you had a good Thanksgiving? How many of you had a nice Thanksgiving? How many of you got together with your family and friends? Amen? Well, church, we can do that and keep that, keep that going. Amen? Praise God, because God is doing miracles. How many of you have people out there that are struggling, hurt, physically, mentally, or spiritual? They need a healing. They need a touch from Jesus Christ. Amen? But then it's up to you. To get them into the house of God. Amen. The Bible says bring them in. And we'll anoint them with oil. Amen. And the sick shall be healed. Praise God. Hallelujah. So if we just obey the word of God. We'll see what God can do. But if we just get stuck in our own little. Never mind. Praise God. Hallelujah. We got to move. We got to move for the Lord. Amen. I want to start off today with this scripture that God has given to me. It says in Revelations chapter 19, starting on verse 11, it says, I, I saw, this is John the Apostle. He said, I saw heaven standing open. I saw heaven standing open. Praise God. How many of you would like to see that? Heaven standing open. Hello. Amen. Why? Well, I guess you'll want to see it standing open when it's your time to go in there, right? Praise God. Well, the Apostle John, he saw this. John, he saw this. He said in Revelation 19, 11, I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse whose rider is called Faithful and True. Praise God. How many of you like faithfulness? Amen? Amen. Praise God. His writer is called Faithful and True. With justice he judges and makes war. His eyes are like blazing fire and on his head are many crowns. And he has a name written on him that no one knows but he himself. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood and his name is the Word of God. Hallelujah. His name is the Word of God. The armies of heaven were following him, riding on white horses, dressed in fine linen and white, white and clean. Out of his mouth comes a sharp sword with which he strikes down the nations. Amen? Amen. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He treads the wine presses of the fury. He treads the wine press of the fury of the wrath of God Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh, he has this name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. How many of us to here recognize here today recognize Jesus Christ, the Word of God, as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in our lives? Amen? Amen. Praise God. We must rise up and say, you know what, Lord, I thank you, Lord. This is a picture the Lord has given to us. Amen? Hallelujah. That he will come and he's coming, and he's coming, and he's coming, and I believe that he's, this is the hour of his coming. Amen? Amen? We must prepare ourselves. We must prepare our homes, our hearts for the coming of the Lord, folks. 
Why do I want to go to church? Why do I want to live the Christian life? Because the Bible says we don't know at what hour, what time, or day, or month the Lord is going to come. But that He's coming. Amen? Hallelujah. When somebody tells me they're coming to my house, they don't give me a time. I get ready as early as I can because somebody's coming. Amen? Sister Martha will be flying all around the house, you know, and getting everything organized and you know and uh, or when she knows the grandchildren are coming or somebody's coming over boy she just takes that place and refaces it amen you know usually it's just me and her there so we just run around from here to there but when she knows somebody's coming amen boy it just, just everything gets cleaned up and she's got to clean everything amen praise god but i thank thankful for that and for her amen praise god Hallelujah. Some of you may have already seen this. I shared it with you uh, in a text message. Amen. Know your God is faithful. Know that your God is a faithful God. Amen. Amen. Because we have a faithful God. Hallelujah. Church, we, our God, our Lord, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, He is faithful. That's why He's wearing this on his shy, it says, faithful and true. Amen. Praise God. We live in a world of unfaithfulness where, moral, where the moral foundations are, are crumbling, folks. If you don't see it crumbling around you, then you're just, you're, you're being blinded by the enemy. Amen? Amen. Praise God. So we're living in that world. Amen. But God is great. Amen. Where people are no longer true to their word. Unfaithfulness is everywhere. But I have good news for you today. God is faithful. Amen. No matter who's a liar. No matter who's a deceiver. God is faithful. Amen? Amen. And you must keep your eyes on Him. God uses faithful people too. Amen? But sometimes they become unfaithful. Amen. But God remains faithful. People in all positions and leaderships of life may become unfaithful, but God remains faithful. Amen. Amen? Amen. And we got to trust Him. He knows what He's doing. He has a plan. Amen? And that is good news. Amen? Colossians 1.17 says, He is before all things. Let me go to Colossians real quick. Like, Praise God. Hallelujah. You love the Lord today? Amen. I'm excited. You guys don't sound too excited. Maybe that turkey got you a little too sleepy. Amen. But I'm excited this morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Colossians chapter 1. Starting on verse um, 15. It says, He is the image of Talking about Christ, the Word of God, the true and faithful one. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by Him all things were created. Things in heaven, for by Him all things were created. For by Him you were created. How, do you, how many of you know that? Amen. Praise God. For by Him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by Him and for Him. He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. Amen? In Him all things hold together. Praise God. Hallelujah. God's faithfulness is the glue that holds it all together. Because God created it for a purpose. God has a purpose for you. God has a calling upon you. God has something that he wants you to do. What God has done for you, amen, that, that you should see and you should say, God, I'm so grateful that I'm gonna, I want to do something now for somebody else. Amen? 
I want to touch somebody else. God, you healed me of brain tumors. God, you healed me and took me out of this lifestyle. God, I want to tell, I want to tell people that you're real, that you could heal them, that you could make brain tumors disappear. Amen. That you could make cancer disappear. Hallelujah. Because the power of God can do that. Amen. Because God is faithful. Amen. God can... God can transform a person's life, that can transform a, a family, that can transform a community, that can transform a city, that can transform a state, that can transform a nation. Hallelujah. The power of God can do that. Amen. And it only starts with one person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. Think about that. Jesus came. Amen. One person born. Amen. Yes, yeah, supernaturally. And the power of God was with him. The anointing of God was over him. But he walked by the Sea of Galilee. And he found normal, regular, ordinary guys, people. Amen. And they became the pillars of the Christian church. Hallelujah. When Jesus ascended, those same men that were just fishermen, workers, just normal guys like you and me, amen? God used them to turn the world upside down in Christianity. Hallelujah. See, church, when we're humble people that want to follow our God, that want to walk with our God, God is faithful and he will do great things. Amen. God will bless the work of your hands. God will prosper you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So he is the one that holds all things together. Psalms 89 verse 2 says, I will declare that your love stands firm forever, that you established your faithfulness in heaven itself. Amen. God did that. He is faithful. Amen. Praise God. Genesis 8:22 says, as long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. Hallelujah. Seed time and harvest. Do you see that happening? Hello? When you go to the market, you see all the seed time and you see the harvest. You see the things that grow in the fields. Amen. Hallelujah. You see those things. And it's happening still. Amen. As long as the earth endures. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You will see these things. You see that it turns night. You see that it gets cold. You see that it gets hot. You see that we have summers. We have winters. Day and night. They never cease, do they? As long as you've been on this earth, you've seen this happening. God is faithful. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. As Isaiah 11.5 says, Righteousness will be his belt and faithfulness the sash around his waist praise God God's faithfulness amen numbers 23 verse 9 says God is not a man God is not a man that he should lie nor a son of man that he should change his mind does he speak and then not act no God always when he says something it comes into being when he says something there's fruition there's growth amen he said, let there be light, and there was light. Amen? The word of God. He says, be healed, and you will be healed. Be whole, and you will be whole. Amen? Be prosperous, and you will be prosperous. Amen? Hallelujah. Prosperous in the things of God. Not prosperous as maybe the world looks at it. Oh, I have to be a millionaire or be filled with money before I'm... No, no. Because that doesn't bring true prosperity. Prosperity in health. Prosperity in family. Prosperity in the home. Prosperity in all the work of your hands, brothers and sisters. That's prosperity. Amen? Amen. And it can be done by the power of God and the life of God in you. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory. Hallelujah. Does he speak and not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? Every promise that God has made in the Bible has been fulfilled. Lord. Amen? Church, God is faithful. He has a plan. He has a purpose for each and every one of you. Amen? It's up to you to rise up for the young, young teenagers, young boys, girls, 
God has a plan for you and the earlier you're, the earlier you see it the better off you will be the more less likely you will be to get entangled in the youthfulness of life out there Amen. hello Hallelujah. hello Amen. praise Amen. God Psalms 119 verse 90 says, your faithfulness continues through all generations. You establish the earth and it, endu and it endures. Amen. Lamentations 3.22 says, because, the Lord, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassion never fails. His compassion, his love for us, it never fails, folks. Amen. His compassion, that compassion that sees us no matter where we came from, no matter what we've done. That compassion to touch us, to heal us, to lift us up. Hello. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For His compassion never fails. His compassion never fails. They are new every other Monday. No, the Bible says they are new every morning. Every morning. Amen. But where are you every morning? Struggling through your doubts, struggling through your cares, your worries, your fears, your anxieties. Hello. God does not want you to be living like that. Amen. God wants you to rise up and to trust in him. Amen. Amen. He is the lifter of the downfallen. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So if you let them lift you up when things seem tough, when things are getting hard and you're struggling through to think you're barely going to make it, God will make a way so you make it and there's abundance in you making it. Amen? Hello? Praise God. Praise God. Amen? 2 Corinthians 1.20 says, For no matter how many promises, for no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. Amen. His promises are yes in Christ. Amen. Outside of Christ, you're living in unstableness, insecurities, maybe false hope. Living outside of Christ is going to be very difficult. But when you stay in Christ, you know that God is faithful. Things are going to work out. Things are going to get better. I'm not always going to be struggling. Things are going to get better. Amen? Praise God. Do you love the Lord today? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. No matter how many promises God has made, they're yes in Christ. And through Him, and through Him, the amen is spoken by by us to the glory of God. And that's so powerful. Do you see what it says right there? The amen is spoken by us. God makes the promise. He's faithful. And we say amen. Hallelujah. What God says he can do. He will do. Amen. amen. Something in particular in your life. Ask God. See what he does. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. You love the Lord today. Amen. Praise God. God's faithfulness. I'm going to give you five things, and you probably already read them, but I want you to hear them again. Amen? God's faithfulness eliminates worry. How many of you run around from one worry to the next worry? From one anxiety to the next anxiety? Amen? From one fear. We live in a world like that. We go from one fear to another fear. Amen? Amen. We live in a crazy world. The days that we're living in today. Gangs of people running into stores and stealing all they can steal and running out. Amen. Like there's nothing they can do about it. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody's going through this pandemic and seems like it's getting better. And then all of a sudden there's a new one. Fear to fear. Worry to worry. And that's the way the world wants to press us. That's the way the world wants to squeeze the hope and the life out of us. But we cannot let it happen. Amen. Amen. For we trust in Christ and the power of God. Amen? Amen. That's why I say, church, I hear those dry bones rattling. Amen. Amen. But you got to learn to speak that speak to those situations in your life. 
Amen. Speak the word of God over it. Pray the word of God over your families, your marriages, your spouses, your children. Speak the word of God over it. The promises of God for your children. The promises of God for your marriage. The promises of God for your healings. God, I'm healed. I'm whole. I'm complete in you, Lord Jesus. And I thank you for that. My mind is awake. My mind is active. My mind is alert. My spirit is strong because the spirit of the living God. God lives in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. God's faithfulness eliminates worry. Hebrews 10 23. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess. For he who promised is faithful. Lord. Amen. Revelations 1 5. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us. And has freed us from our sins by his blood. Amen. Yes. Revelations 22 6 says. Uh, the angel said to me. These words are trustworthy and true. The Lord the God of the spirits. Is, is of the God. The God of the spirits of the prophets. Sent his angel to show his servant. The things that must soon take place. Amen. Amen. Psalms 119 verse 89 says, Your word, O Lord, is eternal. It stands firm in heaven. Your faithfulness continues through all generations. You establish the earth and it endures. Amen. God's faithful eliminates the worries. Amen. God's faithfulness answers. Hallelujah. Prayers. Amen. God's faithfulness. Amen. Amen. He just asks us. Be in agreement with me. Trust me. Lean not to your own understanding. I know what I'm doing. I have a future for you. I don't want to harm you. I want to do good to you. I want to raise you up. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Praise God. Faithfulness. God's faithfulness promises answers. And this gives us great confidence when we pray, church. When we know we're praying and we have a God that sees us, a God that hears us. Amen? Amen. A God that created the heavens and, and the earth, the God that raises the dead, that heals the sick. Amen? Amen? When we know that we got him, we have confidence that the Lord hears and answers our prayers. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Psalms 143 verse 1 says, O Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy in your faithfulness and righteousness. Come to my relief. Amen? Amen. When you're struggling, brothers and sisters, don't sit there. Don't sit there and, and just weep in your tears. And stand up and say, God, I know you're for me. And I, I know you're for me and not against me. I know that I'm not going to stay stuck in this rut in life. Things are going to get better. Yes. Praise God. But church, you got to put your work in. The forgiveness and the grace of God is all free. Salvation yes. is free. But we got to put our work in. What do I mean by put our work in? Trust God. Yes. Trust in Him. See, that takes effort on your part because you're so much trusting in this world, the light of this world, the things of this world, the people in this world, that you forget to see that God is the one you should trust. Amen. Hello. Praise God. God's faithfulness promises answers. Jeremiah 33.3 3 says, call to me and I'll answer you. And let you, and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Great and mighty things you don't know. Amen. God wants to reveal himself so much more in your lives. Amen. But it's hard for him. When you continuously are looking somewhere else for your help. You're looking somewhere else for your strength. Amen. Look unto the Lord. Even when you're all alone and all by yourself and your thoughts are in your heart or, or, you know, literally all alone. Know that you're not alone because the Lord is with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And number three, God's faithfulness protects us from evil. Amen. 
Matthew 6, 13 says, And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Praise God. Deliver us from the evil one. See, God wants to be there. And you just got to know that no matter what the enemy comes with, because there's a lot of times, you know, we, we know the enemy's busy. When we're busy about God's work, the enemy attacks. When we're not doing nothing, the enemy says, why do I have to bother with them for it? They're not doing nothing anyway. They don't even want to look at God. Hello? But when we stay like that, our own problems overwhelm us. Our own worries, fears, anxieties, they'll overwhelm us. Amen? Hello? Our own doubts, they'll overwhelm us. Amen? So you got to come out of there and you have to trust in God. Put that work in for Him. Amen? Hello? Praise God. God's faithfulness protects us from evil. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful, and He will strengthen Amen. and protect you from the evil one. Amen. Evil one meaning the devil, the liar, the, the, the deceiver, the tempter. Amen. God will protect you from him. Amen. How many of you know that you do need to be protected from the evil one? Because he'll try to mislead you, misguide you with all of his jive lies. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. Number four, God's faithfulness promotes praise. Praise God. Amen? Because when you can start saying, in the midst of your pain, in the midst of your hurt, in the midst of your struggle, praise God, praise you, Lord, praise God, hallelujah. Sometimes I don't feel like saying that. I feel like saying other things, but I still say, praise God, praise God, hallelujah. Amen? All of a sudden, things that happen, a car problem, a household problem, a family member problem, you know, praise God, praise God. I know God has something in this. There's something in this, amen? God's not just letting it happen for nothing. Hello? Amen. And I start praising Him because I acknowledge Him. And I know that whatever's happening, God's going to turn it out for good. Because when we praise Him, we show we love Him. Amen. And we trust Him. Amen. Hello? Amen. Praise God. Psalms 89. Verse 1 says, I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth, I will make your faithfulness known through all generations. With your mouth, you make His faithfulness known to the people around you. Amen? When things become difficult, if you start crying and, and whatever, or, or saying, poor me, and getting into that kind of attitude, hello? Amen? You're not letting nobody know but that, that you don't... That, that God is with you. That God wants to help you. That God wants to pick you up. But when you're praising God, they say, Wow, that person's kind of strange. They're going through a lot of... <clears throat> and they're still praising God. Hello? Amen. Hallelujah. You love the Lord today? Yeah. Praise God. With my mouth, I will make your faithfulness known to all generations psalms 89 verse 5 says the heavens praise your wonders O lord your faithfulness too in the assembly of the holy ones psalms 89 verse 8 says O lord all my O lord god almighty who is like you you are mighty O lord and your faithfulness surrounds you amen, amen. be faithful and although the world around us may be crooked, deceitful, and unfaithful. Amen. People don't keep their word. People don't keep their promises. Amen. It happens, folks. Amen. I remember a while back, I went and bought some windows for our home. And it came with a lifetime guarantee. Amen. Anything happens, you call them up and they'll come and they'll fix them. Amen. I called them up. They weren't in existence no more. Do you see what I'm saying? Things in the world change and they could just, you know, all the time, like shifting shadows. But you have to trust in your God. Is your God for you today? Did you come here today because you came to seek a faithful God? 
Amen. Did you come here today because you want God to see, I'm faithful, Lord. I'm faithful, Lord, because I want to be in your presence. I'm going to come to the house of God. I'm going to gather around you, Lord God. Amen? Amen. Well, church, the Bible says there's a reward for you, for those that draw close to the Lord. There's a reward for you. Amen? Amen. Praise God. How many of you like rewards? Amen. How many of you like rewards? Amen. Praise God. I mean, I've seen people win, you know, how many of you like prizes? Amen. You know, I see people, you go to the carnivals, you go to this, and people spend $50, $60 trying to win one little stuffed animal. <laughs> Amen. Throwing balls or darts or whatever. Amen? Amen. Praise God. But you're having fun, right? Praise God. <clears throat> Psalm 71 verse 22 says, I will praise you with the harp for your faithfulness. I will praise you with the harp for your faithfulness. Oh my God, I will praise you with the harp. Amen. Now, not many of us can play the harp. Amen. But I will praise you with my voice. I will praise you with my heart, oh God. Amen. If I have to die today, let my last breath say, Praise God, hallelujah. Glory. But I'm not going to bow down. I'm not going to give up. Hello? I'm not going to give up. Amen? Hello? Hello? I will praise you with the heart for your faithfulness. Oh my God, I will sing praise to you with the lyre, O Holy One of Israel. Psalms 92 verse 1 says, It is good to praise the Lord. Whoa. It is good to praise the Lord. That's the Holy Ghost, church. It is good to praise the Lord. Amen? amen. Hallelujah. And every time you praise God, amen. I'm going to tell you, you smack that lying problem in the face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You smack those doubts. Amen. You stomp on the enemy because the enemy's under your feet. You're not under your problems. You're not under the load of your cares and worries. Amen. Amen. Because you've given them to the Lord. Yes. Amen. And he has them now. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name O most high to proclaim your love in the morning oh I love this to proclaim your love in the morning and your faithfulness every night amen you get up in the morning you proclaim the love of God in the morning hallelujah, hallelujah. and at the end of the day at the end of the day you profess how faithful he was through that day amen. no matter what happened that day God was faithful he showed himself faithful to you amen, amen. Praise God. You love him today. Amen. Praise God. Well, show somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number five, God's faithfulness provides encouragement. And that is something we all need all the time. Amen. We need to be encouraged. You need to encourage your wife. You need to encourage your husband. You need to encourage your children. Amen. Amen. We need to encourage one another in the things of God. Amen. I love to run around and tell my wife, you're so beautiful. Amen. You're so beautiful to me. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank her for all that she does and the sacrifices she makes and keeping the house and things together. Amen? Amen. A wise woman of God. I praise God for her. Amen. But I think the one she likes the most is when I tell her, I thank the Lord that you love God. That you seek the Lord. That you Amen. praise God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. We like to get those pat on the back. But you know the most important one. Is for people to see that you do love your God. That you walk faithfully with your faithful God. Amen. Amen. Hello. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 16 says. He has broken he has broken my teeth with gravel. He has trampled me in the dust. I have been deprived of peace I have forgotten what prosperity is now those are sound really really tough right when you listen to it he says this look 
this is lamentation, it's written by Jeremiah. He says, he has broken my teeth with gravel. He has trampled me in the dust. I have been deprived of peace. I have forgotten what prosperity is. Amen? That person got it hard. But yet, watch his attitude. So I say, my splendor is gone and all that I hope for from the Lord. Amen? Amen. But watch what he says in verse 22 of the same chapter. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. Amen. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Amen. Lord. Praise God. So like I shared with you, praise God. We have so much to be thankful for. Amen. Amen. Praise God. How many of you know that God makes a way? How many of you know, as it says in Luke chapter 1, verse 37, nothing is impossible with God. Amen. Nothing is impossible for God. No matter where you're at today, no matter what you're going through today, God can make a way for you. Amen? Amen. If you look into Him for a way. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. A way where playing, well, you know, a person can be, you know, the most richest person and have all the money in the world. Amen? But all that money cannot cure him of cancer. God can. Amen. Hello? Amen. A person can be struggling, have all the money in the world, amen, and yet have a daughter or a son that's on drugs. Amen. Hello? All the money can't save them. Hello? But God can deliver them and change them. Amen. Hello? God is a healer. God is a provider. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Let's read this real quick like Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 1. I told you I hear the sound of dry bones rattling. Praise God. Hallelujah. The hand of the Lord was upon me. Hallelujah. The hand of the Lord was upon me and he brought me and he brought me out by the spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. It was full of bones. Human bones. Amen. Skeletons. He led me back and forth among them. And I saw great and many bones on the floor of the valley. The bones that were very dry. And he asked me. He asked him. He's taking him. God, by the Holy Spirit, is taking this man, Ezekiel, and showing him a vision. He takes him and puts him in the valley, and nothing but dry bones are in that valley. That's hopelessness. That's death. Amen? Amen. <coughs> and listen what God asks him. Amen? He asked me, the Lord asked him, Son of man, can these bones live? You're walking around, and I was, I got blessed this morning, you know, to help me out a little bit here. I, there's, a, there's some songs that's, that are about Ezekiel 37, amen, and I just happened to click on one, but the picture was so thing because it was a picture of literally just dry bones, people's dry bones, amen, and I go, wow. I was looking at them and in my mind, in my heart, and I was saying, man, there's stories untold there. There's unfinished life there. There's hopelessness there. There's, you know, it was just a sad picture, amen? And then I heard the Lord say, can they live? And I said, Lord, I already read the, I already read the whole chapter. And, and they, they live, Lord. Amen. But look at what Ezekiel says, because this is what we have to get to. We don't know the future. We don't know, you know, sometimes what God's going to do would bring out of a situation. Amen. But listen to this. He asked me, God asked Ezekiel, son of man, can these bones live? I said, sovereign Lord, you alone know. And when you come to that point in your life and whatever you're going through, then you have a good understanding with God. He knows what he's going to do. And he'll come sometimes and he'll ask you. Amen. Just like when Jesus fed the 5,000. Amen. <clears throat> he told his disciples. That we were going to feed. The, he was going to feed all those people. And they started thinking through. 
natural eyes in human terms. How are we going to do that, Lord? There's 5,000 people plus women and children, and we only got a few fish and a few loaves. Hello? You see, God knew what he was going to do. Wherever you're at today in your life, God knows exactly where you're at, and he knows if it's a tough place, he's going to bring you through it. If you're in a hopeless situation, amen, because you can't see the end results or you can't see tomorrow, put your eyes on the Lord. He knows what's going to happen. He alone knows. Hello. But you'll find people all of a sudden because things become very complex, because things become very difficult, amen. They start painting a picture of doom and gloom. The devil don't even have to do anything. Your own fears and worries and doubts, they will paint a picture, it's all over. Hello? And the devil sits back and says, wow, they don't have to do nothing. They're, 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 they, they, don't have, they don't trust in their God. Amen? If you trust in God, you trust God all the way. Amen. If you end up on the curve, you trust God on the curve. Amen. Hello? If you end up on the mountaintops, you just thank him and trust God up there. Amen? Amen? If you end up in a valley with a bunch of dry bones, you know there's hope. Amen. Hello. Well, you'll see right now. Look. Look. It says, Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Whatever your situation is, whatever your problem is, tell it to hear the word of the Lord, the promises of God. Hello? Amen. Believe in your hearts. Trust in your hearts. Hallelujah. Confess it out of your mouth. Hallelujah. Hello? Ooh, hallelujah. Solo Hallelujah. He said, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Speak to your situation. Speak the negative out and the power of God in. Hallelujah. Speak the darkness out. The gloom out and speak the light and the power of God in. Hear the voice of the Lord. Because when God speaks, your problem may have been there for four days. But when God says, come out of it, you come forth. Like he said to Lazarus, Lazarus, come forth. If he wouldn't have said Lazarus, everybody dead in the graves would have come walking out of the tombs. Hallelujah. That's God. He's wow. faithful. Amen. Lord. Listen to this. He says, This is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you. I think I got too excited on my glasses. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Remember, he tells them to speak the word of God to them. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you and you will come to life. And, and Ezekiel sitting there and he's saying, But Lord, they're dry bones. See, it may look tough right now. It may look hopeless right now, but have hope in God. Amen. Trust in God with all your heart. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory. This is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you Lord. and you will come to life. Hello. Hallelujah. Now that's hopelessness of hopelessness. Amen. Amen. But yet something good's going to come out of it. Glory. Something good's coming out of it. Glory God. Glory. Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise God. Glory. Huh. Praise God. Verse 9 says, Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath. Prophesy to the breath. Then he said, Prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man, and say to it, 
You see, God was telling him what to do, but then he had something to do when God told him what to do, right? Amen. Speak the word of God over your business. Speak the word of God over your dad. Speak the word of God over those sickness and diseases. Speak the word of God over your living conditions. Amen? Amen. And watch what God will do. Hello? Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I looked and tendons and flesh appeared over them. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy son of man and say to it, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Am I off Caesar? Praise the Lord. Can you guys hear me? <clears throat> this is what the sovereign Lord says. Come from far winds, winds, four winds, O breath, and breathe into these slain that they may live. So I prophesy as he commanded me, and breath entered them. And they came to life, and they stood up on their feet, a vast army. Wow. God knew what he was doing with something like that. Amen. Praise God. Can God bring rain to California? Can God Amen. remove the drought? Right, Can God take this COVID away from us permanently? Amen. Every different species that gets created from it. Hello? God can. But you got to believe. Amen. You got to believe. Amen. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Oh, my people, I'm going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I'm going to bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and bring you up from them, I will put my spirit in you and you will live and I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken and have done it, declares the Lord Almighty. Amen. Amen. God. We hear the sound of rattling bones. Hallelujah. Because we know that God is doing something. Amen. Amen. God is going to bring revival. God is going to let the, the, the resurrected, the resurrection power touch lives, marriages, families. Hallelujah. Relationships, finances. Hello. Hallelujah. Do you believe that today? Amen. Then speak life over your situations. Walk out of here with faith in God and what he has done, what he can do. Nothing is impossible with our God. Amen. In Jesus' name. As we shared earlier, God is faithful. Amen. God is faithful. Come alive. Get that first love back again. Trust in Him with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Amen? Amen? God is for you. And God wants to help you. Amen? Your miracle is already in your hands. Amen? Amen? Raise up your hands. Raise up your hands and receive your miracle from the Lord. Lord, I receive the miracle for me, my wife, my family, my church, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for our nation, Lord God, for our country, Lord God. Father, I re receive those miracles right now, Lord. I speak life into our country today. Your life, Father God. Life into my home, Lord God. Life into my marriage, Father God. Life in all my relationships, Lord God. Life into our church, Lord. We just grab it, Lord, and we trust you, Lord. 
we trust you. You know how you're going to deliver it. You know how you're going to unwrap it, Lord. So we trust you today, Lord. And we thank you for it. And we bless you, Lord. And we will, Lord God, keep our eyes on you because you are the author and the finisher of our faith, Lord God. Help us to be faithful as you are faithful, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen? Amen. Can we praise the Lord? Amen. Well, that's the word of the Lord for us today. I pray that you've been encouraged, built up, lifted up. Amen. And that you got something good today. Amen. Amen. And it was all by a choice. I chose to come to the house of the Lord. Amen. You chose to come to the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And those of you out there in Facebook and, and YouTube land, the Lord touched you. And I pray that you lifted your hands to receive the miracle God has for you. We love you. God bless you. And thank you for being with us this Sunday here at Unshackled.